Welcome to another video, video of the Silly Garage. Another video, another episode. So, as you can tell, I got a bunch of helpers today. So, uh, That's my things, I don't know if things are going to get done a lot faster or a lot slower. Del up in here, she says that she wants to run the camera. Can I run but the camera? She has to like keep her eyes on the camera to make sure that I'm in the camera. That's what I do most. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we can alternate. You guys can help out. So Yay! since y'all join in and this video today, we're going to fix something That's on okay. Monica. Okay. Like this? Okay. So I don't know if you can hear. I'm gonna show you. We have a wheel bearing problem right here. Watch, everybody quiet. Oh, yeah, Can you hear? Yeah. 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 Side to side, not as bad. Up and down. Pretty bad, right? Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah. So, that being said, we're going to replace the wheel bearing. Now, what we have here is a national bearing. This is actually a very good bearing. It's a $70 bearing versus wow. like a $35, $40 bearing Look from uh, Auto Parts Store. So we're going to replace this bearing. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how to replace your wheel bearing. But before you're going to do that, you want to make sure that the wheel bearing is the problem. You want to make sure that the plate comes from the center cap Wait. where the wheel is. You don't want to like... Replace a bearing and you have a bad bar joint because also a bar joint could be bad. So, we're going to take the wheel off. It will be a lot easier to tell the bar joints, the top one, the bottom one. What? And then if uh, it's the what? bearing, that's what we're going to replace. Yes! Mm -hmm. I'm going to be shocked if this video is going to look good based on how Della's holding that camera. But, you know, everybody wants to earn some money around here. Can I hold? You know what I'm saying? I don't want money. I just want to help. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Next person that's going to hold the camera is going to be you. Because I'm sure we're going to go back and forth. Yeah. But for now, Della's holding it. So, what we got here, we got my toolbox. What is it? Um, so, you know, you look away and the, um, that's not like how you do on video. So, you're telling me I look away? Like yeah. from the camera? Yeah. No, you okay. do. Most people by now, if they're watching this, they're like, man, you know what? <laughs> I just wasted five minutes and I don't know what's going on. And I have no idea what this guy's about to do. And I'm not even interested anymore. And that's okay. For those of you guys out there that are bored, you got nothing else to do. Welcome to our channel. And then we're just going to tag along. And then I'll show you guys how we're going to fix this wheel bearing. And... Uh, but I'll uh, you they're all gonna just take turns holding the camera. So I'm back in charge, people. I gave yeah. it to you. I'm gonna hold up here, kind of, uh, you know, Service. see me better, whatever. But so yeah, so in order to kind of before you, for sure, for sure, you gotta make sure it's the wheel bearing. You take the wheel off, and that way you can see the play on the bar joints, top and bottom. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna go ahead and take the hose out of here. Oh, I got the thing in the trunk. I got the wood lock key in the trunk. I gotta put the car back down. Ah. Wah, wah. Okay, check, turn it off. Sorry about that, guys. And we're back in charge again. We're not talking about that because it's gonna go across the bathroom. Oh. Are you gonna walk around, check out the car? Stay over there, watch the car be going down. Just making it a little more exciting. Well, it's gonna be fast forward. I know. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, 
car calms down, then you can start recording on the engine bay. But if you gotta record very slowly. Yeah, you're at low battery. Go fast forward. Yeah, you're at low battery. It's okay, I'm gonna put you guys after you stop this one. Okay, now you can start recording the engine bay. Shit. No, keep recording. Record the engine bay, but you gotta move very slow around the engine bay. Did you turn it off? No. Okay. So strong. This is hard to pull. I'm not lying. Okay, maybe I am lying. I can actually pull. That's good. That's good. I got it, son. Got it. Now. So, what you gotta do next is. Who's. Whose tie is this, huh? Mine now? Is it mine? Mm, I guess you need that. Also, Dad has weird Hey, by stickers. the way, guys, if you guys uh, left it out, I usually don't make videos about this stuff. But I did end up finishing my tattoo the other day. Yeah, we'll probably put it on the end, maybe. I don't know, so you guys can see it. So I did, I did, uh, you need to keep the camera a little bit up. Okay. Yeah, so people actually can see me if you're gonna record. Because Sorry. looking up is actually not a good view. Not that I'm that tall, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, yeah, I'll put some picture in the video down below so you can kind of finish my tattoo, you know? Uh, but yeah, so we have to get the wheel lock key from the truck. Now, if you have uh, air tools, if you have air tools, we got a Mac Impact. I think it's a 2500, it's an old one. Here? Make sure, Make sure you lube it up. Make sure you lube it up so that way. The more you lube it up, the longer it's gonna last you. So I got this Mac oil right here, so I use this oil. Then I just lube it up for, for like three drops inside. Now that I took the wheel lock key out of the trunk, I can raise the car back up. You sure do have weird, uh, weird stickers. I do. Got all kinds of stickers. I just keep laying, I keep laying over the stickers. I know. What's with that one? Sure. That, that's your favorite one, huh? Yeah. That one? You like that one right there? Yeah. Is that what you got? Wait, that's yours? I thought you liked that one on the right side. What's in the garage? Oh, yeah, that one's my favorite. My bad, I didn't see that. That one's our, my favorite. If you want some merch or some, uh, 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 stickers, I don't know where it is, but my dad will tell you, so we'll right, link so in the description. Let's see if you guys can watch this, so. So, we're gonna go ahead and take the wheel off, and we're gonna check for play first, okay? I can't believe I'm doing this. I usually don't do, like, I don't do much of these videos anymore, but I need to get in the habit of, like, upload some more. Some of you guys watching this out there right now. Hey guys, keep it down talking as I'm working. And people are listening to this, okay? So, you guys gotta understand that a lot of people that start those YouTube channels, some of them are doing it for the fame, some of, some of them are doing it for our income, some are doing it for the passion of the car industry like I do. Some people, but, uh, some people are just doing it for to be nice. Yeah, but you know, if we can make some money, if we can make some money, why not? Because you know, this is information that it can be useful to you. You need to get a ladder, dude, if you're gonna help me, because you can't. Go ahead and just hang that up. Okay. I'll just give you a ladder right here. So Sorry about that, guys. We'll be back. So, like I said, guys, uh, a lot of people when they're doing those YouTube channels. You know, they're doing it for multiple reasons. Uh, I mainly, honestly, I mainly honestly do it to kind of give information out, uh, 
to show people to show people what it takes to actually build a car and do those things you know but at the same time i work from home so if i can make some money it would be awesome now i want to talk to you guys a little bit about the youtube as well there's a lot of you guys are starting youtube channels and stuff and then some of you guys have a misconception about youtubers famous youtubers make really really good money uh, as you can tell i probably have about like what 10 12 000, uh, subscribers uh, pretty much you make money based on like you pretty much make money based on the uh, viewers you best you pretty much however many viewers you got on your video that's pretty much how you make money if your videos are very successful and they blow out that's how you make money now as you know doing those kind of videos showing how to work on the car is not really not a lot of people build cars you know what i mean everybody likes to watch social media for entertainment so if you post something funny most likely your video is gonna blow up and you can make money that way too but i just need to get in the habit to just post more because you know uh at this time being this point with my youtube channel uh since we're on that subject i make a roughly about 100 to 150 dollars a month 100 to 150 dollars a month not 150k not 20k a month not 5k a month none of that uh, and if some of you guys are running youtube channel i'll be more than welcome to kind of talk to you more about it uh and show you like the how it works and stuff like that but usually you know for me youtube is not a way to provide for my family it's kind of a nice thing to post out there and share with the world but hey you know what for the time being doing the work editing and all that if it pays for that cool why not you know what i mean so maybe someday my youtube channel is gonna pick up but till then we're just gonna keep pushing forward and keep getting stuff done so anyways we are back with the wood bang problem so i got a flashlight over here got a snap on flashlight so what i'm going to do i'm gonna set the flashlight on the body here and i'm gonna watch this upper bar joint and the bottom bar joint right here to see if any of those to see if any of those uh make play make noises you know what i mean make sure it's not all right here you know if you also want to follow my dad on instagram or facebook his name is Vasile racing and i think it's with some numbers i don't know on instagram yeah. and facebook so you can follow him anytime you want. You have a chance to win some some stuff. Yeah, sometimes I do giveaways. Okay, so it is. I checked the bar joint. There's no play on upper bar joint. There's no play on the bottom bar joint. So most likely it's the bearing. This is how you're gonna take the bearing off. You gotta free up everything from the spindle. This right here. You gotta free up everything right here. This spindle's gotta come out. This is how I do it. And again, guys, this is the way I do it. If it works for you, great. Uh, this is probably the fastest way for me. But in order to get to the wood bearing, you gotta take the spindle off right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to remove the caliper, which I got those nice spoon calipers in here. The pads are still good. Now don't forget, while you're there, make sure you inspect everything. Bar joint, CV axle, lug nut, uh, nut. Uh, the traction bars, oil leaks, all kinds of stuff like that, you know? Make sure your braid lines are not eating up the tire. Like, you know, when you're driving, sometimes this braid line can touch the wheel. This braid line, I had this happen before, where it ate up and actually it ran, it ran through. Uh, what is it? Okay, we'll be ready. Sorry about that, guys. Now, you guys see why I don't have uh, YouTube subscribers, huh? <laughs> like, man, we don't care about this fool and his kids and what they're doing in his garage. Show me the dang, how to remove the dang berry. I don't care about what is going on over there. That, that wasn't cool. Don't throw stuff like that. Um, so, I'm going to remove the caliper. I'm going to remove the rotor. I'm going to remove the upper bar joint, bottom bar joint. And then, uh, and then the axle, not an axle. And then we're gonna be able to remove the, we're gonna be able to remove the, the spindle. I want to remove the spindle. I'm gonna show you how to take the old bearing off and how to press the new bearing on, which I have a press right there. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove those tires and the oil and all that stuff. So, so for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all this stuff, okay? So another cool thing about when you take your calipers off, it's good to have some wire or zip ties handy. So that way you can kind of hang your calipers uh, to something. Like for me, I'm gonna hang the caliper to the traction bar. So actually it doesn't like, uh, it doesn't dingle and just kind of uh, puts this pressure on the braided line. So this uh, spoon caliper is made out of aluminum, so it's not that heavy. Like you, most calipers are made out of steel or whatever, aluminized metal. That actually weighs a lot more than this caliper. So what's gonna happen is, uh, see, so you pretty much, you take your deal right here, and you can put a zip tie through one of the holes right there. And then you can just zip tie right there. People can I don't know if you're watching or showing them what I'm doing. I'm on top that they cannot see anything I'm doing. Sorry about that, guys. Jump up to record it. Okay, so I'm putting it in the back and I'm putting it the wrong way and I'm dropping stuff and I'm getting pissed and I'm just getting irritated and I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. There you go. Sometimes I'm just not feeling it. I'm sure you all have these moments. I have the moments too. You know what I'm saying? And you guys were, uh, <sighs> you guys cousin that quite a bit actually, kids. Sorry. You know what I mean? Sorry about that. Sorry about that, but uh, when I watch this video and when I'm gonna watch the replay, I'm not gonna be happy with the results of the recording. And then, my idea is to give, there you go, to show them what I'm doing. With a caliper, with a zip tie. That's actually a good idea. And then you take your rotor off right here. Take your rotor off. Sit your rotor down. Now, we got a pin right here. You see that? See that? Got some, those new... Uh, we get this pin right here. And we got another one on top here, you see that? Can't really see it. See at the top right there? Oh yeah. I'm gonna take that one off too. Thank right. you for helping me there. So, if it's too sharp, you can grab some better needle nose. Grab a better needle nose right here. That's better needle nose. And you can just pull those out right here. Pull the pin out. The problem is sometimes they pin, they kind of twist, and it's good to re uh, if you cannot reuse it, you can just put a new, uh, yeah. you can just put a new, uh, you can put a new pin. I usually try to put a new pin every time I take them off, but if I don't have it, if I don't have it, you can throw the ladder. That's one thing. Okay, now. Here's the other problem. In order to loosen the bar joint, actually you got three bar joints. You got the upper bar joint, lower bar joint, and the steering rack right there. So you got another pin right there. You see what I'm talking about? So usually what I do, I cut my pins out because I'll put a new ones in. But I mean, some people like to reuse them. That's fine. Shaky, but this is my best steady video ever. This is your best video? Yeah, ever. Because I'm pretty steady. Except I've been acting a little. Oh, okay. That's all right. You trying. That's all matters. Yeah, but I'm pretty steady hey, today. You think uh, I built this car the first shot? It took a lot of work. Six months. Okay. So, in order to pop the lower bar joint, this one right here, you're gonna have to put pressure. So you're gonna have to lift this up. You're gonna have to lift this up in order to loosen this one up. And then this one should come off easy and that should come off easy and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what I got going on here, I got this uh, stand. Where oil goes on? I got this stand right oh, here. Never mind. You see that? So if it's, if it's not too low, 
Now, if you don't have a lift at your house, this is gonna be a little bit trickier for you because you're gonna have to use the floor jack. You're gonna have to raise it up right here with the floor jack and then pound right here to take a loose that. So what you wanna do first, you wanna loosen those nuts. This one, this one, and that one. Those are uh, K2 and bar joints, so I think those will take like 17, 19, and 14. I think it's 17 right here. 17 right there. Hopefully it is. See that? And then right there. Also, if you guys, if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a like if you like this video. Hopefully this will help you guys. The what is? Did you get this Sorry about that, guys. No. Okay, so I got all my bar joints loose right now. 17 millimeters. I can't so listen. what we're gonna do right here, you wanna make sure they separate. Put that close right there. See the gap? See that gap right there between the nut and the, the low control arm? So we're gonna try to pry it right here. You see that? And then, oh, hold on here. Like and I'm just, I'm just gonna lay the car down on it. This is getting tricky, actually. Yeah. yeah hold on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, so since I, since this pin is gonna hit right there, I'm gonna raise it up. That'll move out of the car when I'm going down there. I don't want to buy it under the car when I'm lifting up. So. How was your day? So, I bet it's good. Now, you see, I'm gonna bring the car down. Watch. I'm gonna bring the car down to the push pressure on that spindle. See that? Yeah, you saw that, right, guys? In the fast flooring mode. You see that? Okay, so now it's got pressure on it. So all you gotta do is just hit it right here with the hammer at the bottom, and then it's gonna take that gap away. Oh, you are. Okay, so. I got a dang snap it up in here. Make sure it's do not help. And then you hit it right at the bottom right here on the heavy part. There you go. See make sure to get some safety. See that gap right there? See, there's more gap at the bottom. Yeah, make sure to get some like uh, headphones that cover your ears from there. This will be loud. So see that? You see that? You took the knot out. You took the knot out, you put it right here. Yay! Strong. Okay. Right, before I do that, I got this one loose right here. Got this one loose right here. Okay. So I want to take the axle nut out first. So. Hopefully, hey guys, keep it down a little bit. So hopefully, my impact will be able to loosen this one up. Painful, just painful. Put the nut out right there. Well, at least you got it out. And then the axle right here. See, that's gonna pop out. So I'm gonna do lift this up. Okay, so I'm gonna stop, guys. Wow, he's he's kind of lifting the car up, is he? I don't know. Huh? He's kind of lifting the car up. If you are, you're strong. Huh? If you lift the car up, you're strong, boy. It's strong. Okay, so it's not allowing me. It's not allowing me to push it up because the axle is hitting on the on the upper control arm. So you see that? Yeah. See that right there? It's already loose right there. You see that? And then we're gonna bang it right here till that one comes loose. Yeah. And bang, 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 bang. There you go. See that one's loose? You see that? Oh. Put it out right there. You're so close. And then do the upper one right there. Oops. I'll go get that. There you go. 
What's That's your spindle, right there. Would you guys like to join me to get that uh, knot thing? Okay. Now. This is it. This is the bearing. Oh, you are. Oh, you, that would be a good one. And you can tell. Watch. They're like, stop with that noise. Okay, I'm stopping it. Come here, bring over here so you can hear the noise. Shh, everybody quiet. Yeah, can you hear that? Yeah. But Shh. I don't know if I can hear it. You hear that? Mm-hmm. But just that's wood bearing. Now this is a uh from Carsips uh hub. 36 millimeter uh Carsips hubs. So we're gonna have to like take this off and uh I'll show you guys here in a second exactly what we're going to do. All it takes is some good swings, that's it. My estimate is, where's that black? My estimate is, my estimate is three hard swings and it's good. Okay, ready son? Three yeah. hard swings, okay? How many do you think? I think it takes six. That's one. That's two. Man, you might be right. <laughs> no! Yo, so I was right. Three swings, that's all it takes. Now, come over here, guys. You see that? There's a pin right there. That's what holds the bearing in place. You see that right there? There? Yeah, so you gotta get that ring off. Now, in order to press in the new bearing, you're gonna have to cut this right here. See this, this chase right here for the bearing? Da, 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 da. That's gotta come off and I'll show you next how you're gonna do that, all right? So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take this out first. Put the little balls in. So, okay, you can hang up. Okay, so now what we gotta do, we gotta pop that safety pin out. Now this is just a Harbor Freight tool kit. Anybody can buy it. I don't press in wood bearings for a living, so hey, you know what? A cheapy one works just fine. So you go ahead in there. See that kind of close? And then you squeeze it. When you squeeze it, get a screwdriver and you pry it. Kind of. And you got to watch your eyes. Because sometimes. Oh, oh, yo. Sometimes this can pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the fail. Oh. You see what? that? Right there. Underneath. I can see it. Wait. Ah! What? Ah! Okay, Sorry. crazy. I hate webs. There you have it. That's like I said, wear your glasses. Keep away, son. Keep, keep away. away from your kids. So now what you gotta do is you're gonna have to pop this bearing out. Okay. You know? Uh this you can beat on it, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff on that, you know? You can probably pop it out, you can, you know, hit it off. It comes off on the side or you can use the press to press it down so i'm going to show you guys uh how we're going to set this up so we can press it down and then we're going to do the new one well we're going to have to cut the other one first so yep Good. we'll be right back guys progress so now what we got to do is this is spaced off enough where actually i can stick it on both sides in between I got a big socket that actually covers the bearing and we're just going to press it down. Let's see if it comes out. Oh, it's coming out. Fuck it easy, everyone. Oh, wait, you're, in a you're watching a video. My bad. I can see it. Hey, guys, so. We got the bearing off. Let me see that right there. The spindle. Sit right there. That That's this heavy. one. So the bearing is already out of there. Now, this is the hub right here, 46 millimeter carceps. But in order to put the new bearing, we need to take this chest off right here, right? So in order to take this off, we're gonna have to like put a a slightly slightly cut into it, and then uh, use the chisel and hit it. That way we can. Uh, um, I'll be able to take it off to uh, put in the new bearing. So I'm gonna let nobody hold the camera. Wait, 
took his glasses on. Oh, okay, for safety. And don't, don't stay close, just kind of... Oh, oh no, I think I know what you're doing. Well, give him over here before I start. Bring it over here. So I'm gonna try to kind of put a cut right through there. I want to make sure that I don't go in through the into the hub. So I want to make sure that I'm staying over here. So this is kind of what I'm gonna be cutting right there. You scare me! It's going on your head. See that little, see that little fly right there, that little splice. So I'm gonna take a chisel and I'm gonna put it right in the middle right there, and I'm gonna hit it to see if it's gonna crack. Mm, I'm gonna take this with the vise, make it easier for me instead of being lazy. Dude, you have way too many stuff in here. The what is? You have way too many stuff in here. <laughs> I'm going to do that, I can't walk through it. Sorry. Okay, bring it over here. Our motorcycles. No. Put it right here in the vise. Da 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 da. Do you see that right there? I'm gonna put the chisel right there. I'm gonna put the chisel right there in that crack. I'm gonna hit it and see if it's gonna. Uh, sometimes it just shatters. Hold that right there. Which is bad, right? No, it's not bad. It's gotta, you have to break it. Make sure to watch out for your hands. You don't want to, you don't want a hammer hitting your hands and yay! See, it split right in the middle and that comes up just like that. You're a brilliant man! No, oh, please. What do you mean, oh, please? Okay guys, so this is very, 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 very important how you press your bearings. This is the key. Everything else, forget about it. This is very important because here's what? Very important. You're going to ruin the bearing if you're not gonna do it this route. Here's what happened, and I've done it myself. Now, the bearing has got two halves. It's got one half here, and one. And another one on the inside. If you look inside, there's a split right there. There's two pieces. I know, you can see that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, what happens is, most people, when they press the bearing inside, they press it right here. Well, when they press it right here, it puts this pressure on the outside balls right here. See that? That's like plastics. See the balls are inside the plastics and it's chased? Yeah, it looks so when you put pressure right there, what happens is you're going to damage the bearing. So when you press the bearing inside, you always got to make sure you press it on the outside. And when you press the chase inside the center, you gotta make sure that you, something holds the back right here. So that way it doesn't put pressure on the outside and damage the bearing. Very important. So again, I'm not sure if I make any sense what I said. 
So make sure that when you press the bearing, look at this guys. So when you press the bearing in, make sure you don't press right here because you're gonna damage the bearing. So when you press the bearing inside, you wanna press it from the outside. So to do that, you can use the old bearing and chase it with that and press it down. Now, after the bearing is inside all the way, get your clip on, safety clip right here, put that on, and then you're gonna have to press your hub. Now when you press the hub in the center, you gotta make sure that the back side is supported. You gotta make sure that the back is holded by something like this. So when you press the hub down, you're not gonna damage, see that? When you press the bearing, you wanna make sure you got somebody, something that holds it right there because if you're just gonna press the hub into the bearing without no support in the middle, you're gonna damage the bearing. It has a chance to damage, but people who are very lucky. Now, when you get to the bottom, you gotta make sure that you twist it. I'll show you in a second here. So I'm gonna show you in a second exactly how we're gonna do it. So here's the new bearing. Here's the old bearing. I'm using the old bearing as a chase, you see that? The old bearing is on top of the new bearing. Remember how I told you, you wanna do it from the outside. And I'm using this big socket to press down to the old bearing to the new one. Oh. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna get hard with the pump. So watch it right here, close. That's a good idea, dude. If you guys can't see, but slowly going down. I bet you can tell now. That's it. So now, I said this sounded like a cute animal. You see that? The old bearing is out. The socket. Oh, why? So are you now, all you gotta do, you gotta have to put that safety pin in right here. Now it sounds like, a, now it looks like a weapon on the sheet. See that? So you got your safety pin right there. Safety pin. Now the bearing I got, some of them have like a little rubber deal. Some of them don't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this one have metal on both sides, so you can put it either way you want. So they, this is the hub, this is gonna go next. But before we do that, we're gonna have to uh, secure the, we're gonna have to secure the, the bearing. Sorry about my hand guys, but I was trying to block the sun for you, so you guys can see better. So, those hopper free stuff. You see it? Record this on. Right here. Oh, oh, oh that was easy. That was easy. Done. See that? Fully done. Now, when you press the hub inside, when you press oh. this hub inside, that. see that? It's going to press right on the center right there. You got to make sure <coughs> that the bottom right here, this is being supportive. You got to make sure, which I'm going to use a socket, that this it touches that right there. So when you press it, when you press the hub inside, you got somebody, you got something to support the back end. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin your bearing and you're gonna, you're gonna have a play. So, or you could just use oil. Okay, let's see over here. My dad would just like to show you. My dad would just like to show you another way how to do it. Okay. So we're gonna take this right here. I'm gonna have to drop it down. Uh, what with the loud noises? Okay, you get the socket right here. See that? Make sure that, that socket is like right center of the bearing. See that? And we got the hub right there. Oh, actually, it's the other way around. Hold on. Duh. Duh. Don't you duh me? You said duh, so I'll duh you anytime I want. Okay. See that right there? Sorry about that, guys. I love you, Dad. See that? Right there. That's gonna go right yeah, there. Yeah, buddy. Can I do the honor? Can I do the honor? Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Uh, we're gonna be here till tomorrow. Can you this? First of all, this was not closed. Oh. 
Now you can do it. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so really quick. Now, this is the hub, spindle, and you got a backing. See that right at the backing? I got a backing right there. You see that? Now, you got to make sure that backing, it's that backing right there, it's supporting the chase, the bottom, the centerpiece. See the centerpiece? Because if you press the hub right into the bearing, nothing's holding the centerpiece. So what's gonna happen, you're gonna ruin the bearing. Does that make sense? So you gotta support the center, and that's how. See how this is spinning? So, hold this light right here. Yeah, my dad has taken off the camera now. So now I'm just gonna press the hub inside. You see that? This is what's going to make it very important You're gonna feel it when it goes on to the bottom, it's gonna stop. You're gonna hear it. You hear it? That's it. This is it. You see that? Look at that. Spins freely. Now, you're gonna see if you have any play on the bearing, you go up and down with it like this right now. See that? Left to right, up and down. If it has any play right now, you know it's good. So you don't wanna go too hard. You wanna, when it gets to the bottom, you can feel it, it gets hard, then you stop it. You just come here and release Can it. Go ahead. The other way. You see that right there? You see that? So see this socket right here? That socket? It was sitting on that lip right there. See that outside lip? Right there. See that? That chase right there. Because if you press the bearing without having any chase right here, you pretty much, pretty much putting the pressure on the bearing on the outside, which has got the plastics and balls inside, and that's how you're gonna ruin your bearing. You see what I'm saying? So that's pretty much that. We're gonna go ahead and just install it back up on the car. We're gonna install it back on the car and see how how everything is gonna look, how everything is gonna work. And we're gonna tell you a surprise about my ceiling. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Uh, Turn that off. off. Yeah. He blinded me. Okay, you deserve it. What? <laughs> so, again, shout out to Noah for helping me. You know, what I'm saying I was uh, having. Uh, it's always good to have good help, okay. and um, I appreciate him for that. Of course, sometimes we get irritated as parents because they're not very experienced and they don't know how to do stuff. But it's our job to teach them how to do it and not to lose our cool. We can't lose our cool because they don't know. You know what I mean? We can't expect them. It's a lot easier for me to just get out of the way and do it. I'll do it myself. Then explain and take the time and teach them how to do it. So that way we can be able to uh, do this as a team. You know, in fact, actually I'm going to have them also help me edit this video and show them what it takes. My first time editing! Okay. And uh, yeah, we got the spindle. We got the bearing inside. Um, I picked that up from, um, it's roughly $70 for that bearing. I picked it up from Advanced Auto Parts. So now we're just gonna go ahead and install it back in the car and make sure there's no play in none of that stuff. And I'll do another play once it's on the car, make sure there's no more wheel play on the wheel. So, yeah. Now you're gonna have an idea what it takes to do the, I know my steps are a little bit kind of slower this time. It takes a little bit longer, but hopefully you kind of get the point what it takes and uh, to get it done. So again, thanks uh, for watching. And I'll do another clip here in a second as soon as I put it back up. Yeah, so we'll be back very soon.
So, what's the story, guys? Are we going to your grandma's house? Yeah. We're gonna yeah. work on this video? Yeah. yeah. Are you recording or what are you doing? I'm recording. It don't look like we're recording. Can you even see your face? Can you even see my face? I can see your face. So, what's the story? We're gonna show these guys some. Um, it's at 9%. We're gonna show this guy, huh? It's at 9%. We're gonna show these guys the install on the wood bearing. Video here coming in a second. Yeah. And, uh, 